Hey guys, welcome to our channel. For today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to set up your Central Trading Manager. Okay, so let's say you're done paying and you're done downloading the Central Trading Manager. All you need to do is to look at the left side portion of your screen and then you could see here Central Trading Manager. The next thing that you need to do is to drag it and drop it inside your chart. Okay, and this one will appear. Now sometimes there are two check boxes here, okay? All you need to do is to choose those check boxes, okay? So in this case, I only have one, so just choose one and then press OK. And as you can see, your Central Trading Manager is properly installed here at the right portion of your screen. Now, the next thing that you need to do is to make sure that your algo trading is enabled already okay so you will know if it's disabled because the icon here is color red okay and this one as well it's not color blue so make sure that this one is color green and this one is color blue okay so enable algo trading all right now just in case in your central trading manager the text here in your buttons are too big and too small you have the choice here to change the font size okay all you need to do is to right click okay and then choose expert list okay and then choose central trading manager and go to properties in this portion you can change the settings of each font okay so for the size 8 that's the font size inside the buttons and here as well okay for size 25 that's the size of the profit label so you can change this one if it's too big or too small and the 10 here is for the time okay you can adjust that one if it's too small or too big for you all you need to do is just to change the numbers let's say uh, 25 let's make it 10 okay so this is just for an example and look at what will happen here okay just click OK and there you have it so you can also adjust the font sizes here in your buttons so just click properties let's say let's make it five okay five and then press ok there you have it you can now see the buttons and the labels here are quite different than before okay so all you need to do again is just to change the font size here okay so let's make it back to eight and then press ok there you have it okay so we are back but we forgot to change back our font size here for the profit label in my case I prefer it to make it at around 25 so that's the best settings for me okay and we are now done and at the same time if your candles are overlapping the central trading manager or if it's hiding the recent candle all you need to do is just to click this button right here okay this is the shift and button click this one and a triangle will appear here on top and this one will serve as your margin and you can adjust that according to your preference all right so you can adjust the margin here okay so no matter how you zoom in or zoom out it will stay here at this specific margin next is you can also adjust the size of your screen according to your preference you can just click it here at this edge right here point your mouse here and then you can um, adjust it according to your preference so you can see your trades here your profits and many more so that is how you set up your central trading manager properly now if you're interested in purchasing or downloading this tool all you need to do is to make your mql account here first make sure that your name is already here if your name is not visible here then you should create an account or you should log in here okay when you're done logging in or making an account all you need to do is go to this yellow basket right here so this is the mql5 market or if it's not visible on your screen you can also go to tools and then check mql5 market okay just click this one and then this one will pop up all you need to do is to search here for the word central trading manager and here you go okay so you can now download or purchase central trading manager all you need to do is just to click this one and it will redirect you to the different payment options okay so let's say if you have debit card or credit card 
you could use these options right here okay so when you're done downloading it will automatically appear here at the left portion of your screen so that's it